Thanks for stopping by today. And happy holidays, Merry Christmas to everybody. This is one of my favorite times of year, although it's probably one of the busiest times of year for a lot of us. What we're gonna cover today is how can you reduce your engraving times by 50%. I'm gonna show you today in Lightburn. Would you believe that these two ornaments right here, this one took four minutes and 10 seconds, this took two minutes and 10 seconds, did it in half the time with just some minor tweaks in Lightburn. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna learn and we're gonna investigate a little bit about how much difference speed and lines per inch make when you're doing uh, fill engraves like this. I'm sure all of us are doing lots and lots of ornaments this time of year, and if you're, doing, if you're trying to do a bunch of these ornaments, learning the way these, uh, the speed and lines per inch interact with time that it takes you to do your ornaments, you will literally save hours worth of laser time. Well, that's, that's time you can get back for creating other, other uh, uh, products for customers, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you some real live stuff on how it works. We're gonna jump into Lightburn. I'm gonna show you the two settings that I use to generate these two and uh, the stark differences between the engraving times. Just a couple of things. I'm gonna be on a, a Thunder Laser Nova uh, 35 100 watt today. I'm gonna to have my focus, I'm gonna have my laser defocused by about one millimeter. So my normal focus on my machine is six millimeter. I'm gonna be focused at seven millimeter. When you're doing engraving like this, for most of engraves, I don't care what it is, I always defocus my lens. I'm never in focus when I'm engraving. It just produces a lot better look, and it's absolutely critical for when you're doing this type of, a, of a, when you're making your changes in light burn. Because when you defocus your lens, it's going to make up for when you reduce your lines per inch, which gives you a much faster engrave. So let's go ahead and jump over to the laser. I'll show you my setup. I do have a new product that I purchased recently that I really like. I'll show you that. I'll put a link in the description for those that I'm going to show you. And then we'll go to Lightburn and we'll learn all about the difference in speed and lines per inch and the dramatic effects that it will have in your engraving time. Okay, so what the layout is going to be is I'm going to put the, uh, the first uh, engraving for the uh, Christmas ornament here. And then we're going to go ahead and put the second engraving with the different settings uh, over here. This first engraving we're going to do is a fairly slow speed, normal lines per inch settings, um, kind of what most people use. Um, and then we're going to jump to this one over here that has the uh, changed parameters and you'll see how much faster uh, they become. The other thing that I'll mention before we get into light burn is I found these new um, pins, hold down pins, uh, on Etsy, I'll, I'll put a link in the uh, in the description. I purchased these oh probably a month ago and been using them, and they come in different sizes. What I really like about them is they're short enough that you can actually put them over the slats and they don't interfere. So you can put these in your honeycomb just about anywhere. You'll also notice that they come in different sizes. So this is eighth inch. Uh, they come up quarter inch, three eighths, half inch. The other really neat thing that I like about these is they have a removal tool. So if you wanted to remove something, all you've got to do is stick this underneath and pull it out and it works great. It saves your fingers. Give these a try. They're, uh, they're really nice. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go ahead. This first one that you're going to see is going to be uh, with normal settings and then we're going to jump over to the uh, one with the uh, improved settings and we'll see what kind of a time difference we can get.
Okay, this next one that you're gonna see is at 500 millimeters per second at 200 lines per inch with a little bit increase in power because we're going faster. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, the runtime on that one looked like to be uh, 2 minutes and 27 seconds. Let's go ahead and pull this out. I'm going to move the camera over just a little bit, and then I'm going to hit this with a sander right quick. And let's see what it looks like. I'm going to blow it out right quick. Okay. Let's check that out. Now the intensity on the this one on the right hand side is just a little bit lighter. I could have gone up in power just a little bit. But you can see that there's very little discernible difference between those two. This was over 4 minutes. This was just over 2 minutes roughly a 50% decrease in your engraving time. So based on what you need, you have the ability to make a huge difference in the amount of time it takes to do your engraving. Like I said, I could have pumped up the power just a little bit on this side, and it would have been just as dark as, as this one. Pretty substantial time savings. One other thing I'll mention too before we go to light burn, um, you notice that there was a lot more residue on this higher lines per inch and that's primarily because you're burning more material away. Um, you notice that this is just a little bit deeper in grave so there was quite a bit more sanding that I had to do to get it uh, to where it was uh, reasonable where I didn't have to do near as much sanding on this uh, right hand side. So reducing your lines per inch based on your design can mean that you uh, that things clean up a little bit easier as well. So jumping into light burn here, before we get started with the meat and potatoes of how we're going to save all this time on our engravings, there's a couple of terms that I want to make sure that everybody understands. So I've drawn a one inch by one inch square over here. It's the black layer. I've set it to fill. Um, go ahead and put this where it should be. And we're going to change this to 317 lines per inch. That's the default most of the time. So what that really means is there will be 317 individual laser lines that go across, back and forth, across to make up this engraving. And that's a, that's a, uh, I do a lot of engraving at that rate. That's kind of a middle of the road uh, engraving. When you're doing pictures, um, you can be up around 600 to 1,000, and that's why pictures take a lot longer because your uh, line interview is so much uh, denser. So in this particular case, if I go ahead and I and I generate a preview, and I come and I look at these at these lines, you can see these lines are pretty tight. There's 317 of them for this one inch of engraving space. And it's going to take me about 42 seconds to engrave this one inch by one inch square. The farther down I go with my line interval, the quicker your engraving becomes. So if I change this to, let's say, 200, uh, 200 lines per inch, and you notice you see that this uh, line interval changes uh, the same, they're connected. So if you change one, it'll change the other. So now I've gone from 317 down to 200 
and I say OK. And if I preview this now and I look at this, these line intervals are quite a bit further apart. In other words, there's 117 le fewer lines in this one inch square than there used to be. It also dramatically reduced our engraving time. Now, the real question becomes, can I get away with reducing this line interval and still be able to make my product look good? And for the most part, as long as you have some fairly large designs, uh, you're going to be fine. So that's one of the things that we're going to talk about in our settings is line interval. So there's two components in order to dramatically save time when you're doing a fill or an engrave. One of them is the speed in millimeters per second. And the second thing is lines per inch. And it's a combination between those two things that you can make a dramatic difference in how much time it takes to uh, get your, your uh, ornament engraved. So that's what lines per inch mean. Next, we'll go ahead and we'll look at these settings. We'll do an estimated amount here and we'll uh, see how dramatic of an effect this is going to make. Uh, ornament that we've got here. This is roughly uh, three, just a little bit over three inches is how big this ornament is. And if you look at my settings, I'm going to start with 300 millimeters per second at 21% power for both min and max because this is a raster engraved, so your minimum and your maximum power should be the same. Uh, in a raster engrave, I've got my air assist off. I've got my biodirectional fill on. My line interval is defaulted at 317. And I'm going to say fill all shapes at once. And because this is all a blue layer, it's just going to engrave this entire ornament in one fail swoop. If I come up here and I preview this now, um, let's take a look at what it did. So it basically is going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in a raster format and engrave not only the text, but also the border that surrounds the ornament. And you notice that it, the estimated time is 4 minutes and 48 seconds. I'll show you the actual time here in just a minute, but roughly it's going to be 4 minutes and 48 seconds. Now, I will tell you that if, you, if your estimated times are way off, um, the quick way to fix that, as long as your laser is connected to your light burn, come up here to your wrench icon, go to additional settings, and read your, uh, your, your parameters from the controller. So when you push this button right here, it'll go grab your uh, controller information and populate it into this information here, and your estimates will get much closer because it's actually, if you don't do that, you're just using Lightburn's defaults, and it's hard to tell how close the defaults are in Lightburn versus your machine. So... So we've got about 4 minutes and 48 seconds to generate this 3-inch, just a little over 3-inch ornament, okay? Um, so if you add 100 of them to do, that's quite a bit of time, right? Compare that to the, to the exact same design. And what I did with this is I <clears throat> changed two things. I jumped up my speed from 300 millimeters per second to 500 millimeters per second. And uh, the, the, the Thunder lasers that, that I use, um, they're good for 1,000 millimeters per second, but realistically, I typically don't go above 600, um, but they're certainly capable of that. But let's just say that we jump this up to 500 millimeters per second. Of course, we have to increase the speed, or excuse me, the power because we're going faster. So it takes more power because we're going faster to provide the same result. And I also dropped my lines per inch from 317 to 200. And I say OK. And let's go ahead and take a preview. And you notice now we went from well over four minutes 
to 2 minutes and 7 seconds. We'll look at the actual numbers here in just a minute. Um, and the combination of speeding up your laser head between 300 and 500 millimeters per second, and then changing your lines per inch from 317 to 200 has had a dramatic effect on the on the on the run times. So let's take a look at the actual stuff. So these are numbers that I actually got off of my uh, controller. So I'm going to fill this in just so come up here to window, go to toggle wireframe, so I can fill it in so you guys can read it. Okay. So the estimated time for this one was four minutes and 48 seconds. The actual time to run this three inch was four minutes and 37 seconds. This was at 300 millimeters per second, 21% power, and at 317 lines per inch. On this one over here, we've got an estimated time of 207. The actual time wasn't as good, meaning it overran, 227. And this was at 500 millimeters per second, 32% power, and 200 lines per inch. Well, you can see that's a two minute and 10 second per ornament savings. So if you had 100 ornaments to do, that's well over 200 minutes. So, uh, you know, you're looking at roughly well over three hours worth of engraved time that you just saved by changing your lines per inch and increasing your speed. So you can see that just by tweaking your lines per inch and your speed will have a dramatic effect on, uh, uh, you know, what this looks like. Well, as you can tell, by changing your speed and your lines per inch settings in Lightburn can have a dramatic effect on how long it takes you to create your engravings. All I would suggest is that you give it a try somewhere in between the normal setting, the default, 17, uh, default setting of 317 uh, lines per inch compared to anything less than that. It just depends on what you're looking for, but I promise you, you can have a dramatic effect on the amount of uh, time it takes to get those things done. Play with that. Um, it'll make a big difference to you. As always, I hope this information was helpful. If you like the content, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, and if you can, uh, send me a thanks. That's what helps support uh, making these videos. I really appreciate it. The other thing that I will tell you is I'm very excited. We are about 9,400 subscribers now. I'm really hoping to get to that magic 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. That would really help me out. Um, if not, we're going to be very, very close. As always, thanks. I really appreciate all your support. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Until next time, have a great holiday.